Hey, Saints. So, um, today, you know, recently, lately, I've been going to, like, the websites of the LA Kings. Those of you guys who know me in person, who are closer to me, those who know me face-to-face, -face, you know, maybe you know me from high school or middle school. Maybe you went to special ed class with me. Well, when I was, like, on my, on my late teens, I developed a... I used to go for the LA Kings fans, and yeah, this is my new shirt. Um, the message in the back. Uh, somebody ordered for me. Um, I had a sleepless night, so. Um, I for a few months or a few days, I've been asking the Lord if He wants me to go to Crypto Arena to preach the gospel. Like, um, I I used to be a LA Kings fan. I used to be a LA Lakers fan, and um, you know. And I just wanted to give y'all opinions, you know. Do y'all think um God is um I was like in my prayer, like um I'm not gonna tell you I've been praying like three hours straight, no. Um I prayed for like four times in a row. I prayed, um I told the Lord to forgive me, you know, if I for any sin that I have committed that I didn't know about, you know, maybe um, I must have looked at somebody, uh, I must have done, maybe accidentally look at someone. You know, I have overcame the sin of lust, you know. Um, but you know, I wanted to tell you guys, you know, when the Lord says no, no means no, you know. Because I had a, something inside was telling me that if I go to right now. I'm, I'm Actually, right now it's 8.16 a.m. I'm still on time to go to the crypto arena. I could have wrap up my stuff, but, you know, I want to be obedient to the Lord, you know. Maybe through the sleepless night, like trust me, I even took melatonin. Um, y'all know it's like a sleeping pill. You know, I mostly eat something. He, uh, you know what's funny. Um, sometimes, um, I don't know what it could be either. The Lord wants my attention, because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You know, there are times, I pray, ten minutes a day. You know, like five in the morning. And five minutes in the before I go to bed. And um I've been facing a lot of warfare lately, you know. Um I've been going through a lot, you know, um listening to people. Um that's why like, you know, um I've been on here because I know I need accountability, you know. Um there's like a few people here on Instagram and on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook who are they're very close to me, you know, they're like, Hey Brian you know, uh, hit me up and da 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 da. You know, um, so my plan was versus sisters. I didn't want to say, but yeah, I I pretty much asked the Lord if I could go to Crypto Arena to like, you know, preach the gospel to the LA Kingsman. My my goal was to stand like for two or three hours, and I didn't sleep at all. And of course, I'm gonna get tired. You know, if I go on the flesh, like let's say for example, a sinner comes up to me, maybe the Lord is protecting me from sinning, you know, I don't know, um, I don't know what the Lord is doing right now, you know, but, you know, I am a little bit disappointed, though, because I really wanted to go to the LA King games, the LA King, I believe they're gonna play against the Jets, it's a team from Winnipeg, it's from the NHL, from National Hockey League, I also wanted to go um handle some tracks like at the at a basketball game like outside of a Lakers game because I used I used to go for the Lakers. I don't know if Crypto Arena maybe Crypto Arena is not for me. I don't know what y'all think. You know um. There's also another reason I wanted to go to Crypto Arena like next Saturday. I don't know if I'm still on time to pray about it, but right now the LA King games. Are as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I'm going to make to... I'm not that far from the front of the stadium where the LA Kings play. I'm, like, probably, like, 10 minutes away, you know. I could just, like, catch the train and boom. Or that stuff, though. But I believe the Lord is telling me no, though, so... Um, he didn't, like, spoke to me audibly. But maybe I wanted to share this testimony, you know. Uh, I don't think I should call it, wait a minute, no, I don't think I should call it a testimony, but I kind of wanted to let you guys know that not to act on your own wisdom, because if, if you rely on yourself, if, you, if you're your, your little G-God, 
Does I'm gonna ask you a question, brother and sister. Who who's who rules over yourself? Who rules over you? Is it God, the God of the Bible? Or are you on your own God? Are you your own God? Do you make your own decisions? If so, what does God think about you? What what is God's opinion? You know that let's say for example, you know, um let's say for example, um your sister you guys could tell my face I didn't sleep well at all. But I've been seeking the Lord, I've been asking him for forgiveness, you know. Um I just gotta tell you guys a bunch of stuff like yesterday, um I went for a walk. You guys know, you know, I uploaded a few uh footage, you know, of me walking and preaching at the same time. My legs hurt, maybe it's possible the Lord wanted me to rest. I think he wants me to rest, that's why like I'm over here, you know. Feeling how I'm feeling right now because, um, yeah. You know, if I do go out later, I'm just gonna grab something to eat and then rest. Maybe what? Maybe today I need to take a day off from preaching. Um, because I've been praying for the Hollywood thing a few months ago, and I'm not gonna lie, like I hate Hollywood, but I believe the Lord wants me to go there. You know. And Hollywood has became one of my favorite spots. You, do you know why? Because I go to this like coffee shop called Coffee Bean. You know, I have a personal conviction of going to Starbucks. If you're a Christian and you go to Starbucks, I'm not gonna judge or condemn you or saying that you're gonna go to hell. That's between you and the you know. The person I give my money to, to prepare my my, my chacchiato or my or my mocha, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the money. You know, who knows? I could even be giving it to a pregnant woman who's going to do an abortion. You know, I don't know. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully she doesn't do that, you know. Hopefully that barista doesn't commit fornication and then end up killing her innocent baby. I hope not. But I don't know what they're going to do with the money, you know. I mean, I just give it to them and that's all. I don't know if they're going to, like, buy drugs. Um, I don't know. But, you know, I want y'all to keep me in prayer, you know, that my faith continues to grow like i went to hollywood i walked for almost an hour i got i grabbed me some in and out after i i after preach after walk preaching um so yeah you have to keep you guys updated i told a few people that i was gonna go to crypto arena today by myself um the brothers who go with me brother alex is out of town he can make and even if he was here you know he wakes up a little bit late though so um, there are times the Lord does wake me up to go somewhere early, so right now, I know that it wasn't meant for me to go to the Eddie Kings games. Why? I want to know why he not letting me go, you know. I'm still on time to go right now. I only have like three hours. I could like skip my sleep. Oh my goodness. I had, uh, yeah, I don't want to fight with the Lord, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut, you know. I just wanted to keep you guys updated because I told some of you guys in private I think I told a few people that I was going to go to downtown and preach today, but I got a sleepless night, guys. I couldn't sleep. I took my tone and I still couldn't sleep. So, I don't I don't know, you know. Maybe it wasn't meant for me to go to the LA King games. Even though I wanted it to go, I wanted it to preach to thousands of LA King fans. Who knows, maybe an angry sinner was going to say something stupid to me. Maybe... Some unlawful cop was going to give me problems or cite me. And at this moment, guys, you know, I can, we can really afford a, a citation, you know. That's one of the things I'm going to do, you know. I mean, I myself, I'm willing to suffer for the Lord. But I believe the Lord, um, in his timing, he he knows why he's wiser than me. So, and in my head, I'm like, okay, fine, Lord. I'm not going to go to crypto arena. You don't want me to go? I'm not going. I'm going to stay home. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relax. If I do go out, I'm just going to grab some two pupusas or some Denny's. I don't know what I'm going to get. Today's Saturday. But yes, brothers and sisters, that's my update. Not going to the crypto arena. Let's just say God didn't want me to go. Point number one, either he wants me to rest. Point number two, maybe some immodest cheerleader was going to dance over me. And, you know, honestly, bro, like... I don't like people getting close to my face. Like, bro, if you're going to talk to me, if you're going to have a civilized conversation with me, get off my face. And plus, at downtown LA, there's a lot of people who smoke weed. And to be honest, I haven't slept in almost 24 hours. 
So after this live stream, I might upload this video on my premiere on YouTube. And then I'm going to wrap this up. I don't know if I'm going to download it on premiere. I'm just going to go upload it there because I have like some two videos on my premiere or premiere or whatever you call it. I can't even talk right because, oh. yeah, so pray for my sleep, guys, that I, I'm able to get some rest at least for an hour, you know. But I, I'm going to tell you guys something, brothers and sisters. I would rather get a sleepless night here on earth than in hell. In hell, there's no sleep. You know, I know the Lord knows that I have a burden for the souls who go for the LA Kings, for who go for the hockey team. You know, I don't know if it's the Lord chastising me, you know, because, um, you know, there's just people, you know, um, I sinned against recently, and I'm not gonna lie, like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't feel good about it, you know. Uh, I repented, you know, for. And I know there's times. And there are some tips I want to tell you, brothers and sisters. When you pray for someone or somebody, or someone or something, try to pray in, in silence. Because there's a lot of spiritual forces, you know. Obviously, you know, in Isaiah 54, it says that no weapon against thee shall prosper. Like, the devil's going to, like, try to attack you. Obviously, the devil doesn't want me to preach the word. He wants me to keep my mouth shut. But the God's protecting me. Again, maybe unlawful cops are going to come to me. And, and they're going to, like, probably uh, start with it. And to be honest with you guys, I had a sleepless night. That I'm not in a mood to be dealing with unlawful cops. I'm not in a mood for, like, sinners to blow smoke on my face. So maybe it's better for me to stay home. You know, um, hopefully I go to the WWE event. I don't even care about that garbage. WWE for me is stupid. It's garbage. It's a waste of time. Um, man, wrestling each other. It, it's just, it, it's just stupid. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna play here next Saturday. So I'm gonna ask the Lord if He wants me to go. If I could go, I want to go to preach to the people over there. Um, maybe one of my problems is that I say I speak too much because I also want to go to the homo parade on June. I've never been to a homo parade, to an LA Pride parade, never. I do want to go there and preach, but not solo. I don't want to go alone, you know. I don't want like some Saramite, you know, to like follow me to the train station. And probably, you know, when I go somewhere private, he's going to try to assault me. That's why I need like a group of preachers. I need like probably like five or six preachers with me, so in case a, a, a sinner tries to do something stupid to me, I have footages and I have witnesses. You know, because of course my freedom of speech, my church is not even in the constitution, guys. Because our freedom of speech is gonna take are, are gonna be taken away sooner or later. But um, yeah, all I'm gonna ask you is to pray for my sleep. Pray that tonight. Um, I get a better sleep. I get eight hours of sleep. I don't know if it was spiritual warfare or... Um, but yeah, recently... Um, I've done stuff, you know, that I got on like, you know. Not like something serious, you know, maybe... Because, you know, for example, it's not a sin to move. Um, it's not a sin to move to a city or to... It's not a sin for you to switch to another job. But the question is... Did you ask the Lord? I guess my sleepless night also has to do with maybe another situation. For you, brother, maybe you're applying for college. Did you ask the Lord, God, can I go to college? You know, it's not a sin, you know. Again, it's not sinful, but remember, God has a different plan for everybody. Maybe you live in Canada and you want to come to the States. And again, did you ask the Lord? Is the Lord okay with you, Canadian brother and sister? Is he okay for you to come to, to the United States of America? You know, or maybe you're from Great Britain. Maybe you want to come to the United States. But the question is, again, did you ask the Lord? And who's, who's your God? Is it the God of the Bible or yourself? Are you, are you your own God? And this is not like a fourth condemnation. I'm not condemning you. Because I'm learning right now. Look, look at me. <laughs> like, it's not even funny, bro. I mean, lately, I've been debating in person about female pastors, about the rapture, 
about one if salvation can be lost or not. I've been debating in person. People are asking me questions. People are asking me if, if the Bible contradicts itself. I'm like, of course it doesn't, bro. I've been patient. I haven't been raising my voice or calling someone a, wick, a filthy wicked sinner. And I wasn't really planning to 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 do that today. I was gonna keep it low key, but again, I don't know why the Lord doesn't want me to go to um the 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 Staples Center. I don't like the new name Crypto. Like y'all y'all could search it up, you know. It's called Crypto Arena. Like there's another plan I want to do, another form of evangelism. I want to go to a Laker. I'm planning to go to a Laker game one day, but with a hoodie, with a with a instead of wearing a Laker hoodie. I want to wear a Jesus hoodie and go inside, pay my tickets, maybe evangelize um, people reading my, my sweater. But again, I got to pray about it because I don't want, I don't want to become a, 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 an addict, you know. I mean, I'm, I don't condemn brothers who like basketball. You know, that's between you and God again, you know. But yeah, I mean... Um, and for you fellow street preachers, for my fellow street preachers, ask the Lord what does he want you to preach. You just don't go to like a random place and then you yourself getting into trouble, you know. If the Lord leads you, okay, that's why, yeah, it's very important for us to be in the prayer closet. Like today, I pray hard, you know, like I walked around, I got on my knees, I laid down praying, everything. And, you know, ugh. the Lord knows, guys, so... Pray that at least I get one hour of sleep, you know, because um, it's very terrible. Well, if, if it's the Lord chastising me, you know, for something, maybe I did something or, again, I don't know why, you know. I mean, I don't think I've done nothing sinful. I mean, a lady wanted to take a photo with me. She saw me with my evangelism hoodie at Hollywood. And I had a lot of divine appointments. Like yesterday, a, a guy, I thought the guy was going to steal my Bible. But the the guy wanted to see it. Like, I just don't, like, bro, if I don't know you, I'm not going to let you use my Bible like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to you, but I'm not going to let you touch it. But the Lord was letting me to let him touch it. So nothing happened to my Bible for the grace of God. And even the guy stole my Bible. I will have forgiven him because the Bible says forgive those who have hurt you, you know. So, yeah, I mean, um, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. I'm going to take a nap or whatever. Um, I am hungry, to be honest with you. I was going to go to Denny's over there by Fig and then go to downtown. I was going to go to Crypto Arena at 11. Again, I only had like two and a half hours, but no, nah, not it's not a good idea for me to go. I haven't slept, and I, I'm, I don't want nothing bad to happen to my body over there. I don't want to faint, you know, for... I don't want to get into details, but I had a lot of plans today, guys. I was I was planning to do something. My problem was I didn't pray about it. You know, I was going to act on my own wisdom. So, lesson learned. Pray before you make decisions. If you don't pray. Of course, the Eddie Kingpins need the gospel, but the question becomes, a question I ask myself, Brian, does God want you there? Does God want you to go to the Eddie King's game? And his answer was no. You know, there you go. I'm not gonna ask the Lord why. I did be I did ask them in my mind like why why can I go to the LA King games and have a burden for them? But uh I'm gonna keep praying to the Lord if he wants me to preach at a Laker game in the future. I never I never went to a sporting event. That's why I was asking a lot of you street preachers if you guys preach before the game, during the game or after the game. A lot of you guys told me it's not a good idea to preach after the game because there's a lot of drunk sinners. You know, there's pre sinners who come out from the games. They come all intoxicated, todos fumados, todos endrogados. They're like high up, you know, they're drugged up. So I couldn't even understand. I were the saying, you know, but yeah, um, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, you know. Or maybe I'm going to watch a little bit of YouTube videos. So I could fall asleep because sometimes YouTube makes me sleepy. So yeah, guys, God bless you guys. Uh, keep living for Jesus. Jesus said, if you want to come after Him, then let Him deny yourself. If you live in a lame, you may. If you listen, if the Lord leads you to take my spot, go ahead, bro. Go, go reach the souls. You know, over there at Crypto Arena, the the game's gonna start at one p.m. 
But if you want to go preach to the LA Kings fans, you, I, I do recommend you to show up at around 11 a.m. So you could preach, you know. If you're driving miles, just for the lost souls, then praise the Lord, you know. Maybe the Lord wants you to take my spot. I don't know. My fellow street preacher. God bless you guys. And um, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. In Jesus' name. And um, um, there's other reasons why the Lord could take away your sleep. You know, maybe he wants you to like draw closer to him. Maybe you're too distracted. There's like a lot of idols in your in your heart. That's why you gotta like ask the Lord, you know, to search your heart to see if there's any evil inside of you. Anyways, brothers and sisters, God bless you guys. And again, I'm a little bit disappointed because I couldn't go. I wanted it to go, but it'll be over, you know. Um, hopefully, somebody else goes over there and preaches to the Eddie Kingsman. It's not even a big game. You know, I even I think there was gonna be like less people, but I didn't really care about the numbers, even if, because hockey's not a big thing here in LA. You know, that's mostly in Canada, but LA Los Angeles Kings is from LA, you know. I used to go for the, that team, that's why I wanted to testify. And my idea was to like use my new amplifier to listen to the Bible, but I couldn't find the aux cord. I was I was looking for it at Target, but I couldn't find it. I was going to listen to the Bible and hand out some tracks at the at the stadium outside, though. But, again, maybe it wasn't convenient for me to go. I don't know if it's convenient for me to go permanently or just for today. I don't know. That's something I'm going to seek the Lord about. So, God bless you guys. Um, in Jesus' name, I pray. I mean, ah, I'm sorry. In Jesus' name, amen.